Okay, so now we're going to create a circuit that runs a DC motor. Before we create the circuit, though, I want to show you a couple things. First, here we have our DC motor. And I want to connect my probes here. Set this to low voltage measurements. Put my two probes on the terminals here, and then I'm going to spin this, turn the light on real quick, and spin this. Now you notice I'm able to get a couple 10 of millivolts. Maybe if I spin it really fast, I can get a little higher. Um, you can see I'm spinning the motor, and I'm generating voltage. So what's going on there? There's a permanent magnet that I'm rotating around coiled wire that's inducing current, inducing a voltage into my circuit. And that's what I'm reading off my meter right now. Okay. Okay, the next component that I want to look at is the potentiometer or variable resistor. What I expect is as I move this knob, I should be able to change the resistance between this terminal and the central terminal from 0 to 10 kilo ohms. So let me go ahead and test that. Put my probes on the terminals there. Turn my meter to kilo ohm setting. Now what I'm going to do is rotate the knob. As you can see, resistance is going up to 9.5 kilo ohms. So we're looking good there. Now if you're wondering what the other terminal is, if I measure between these two points here, I'll see that I get 10 kilo ohms. If I measure between these two points here, I'll see that I get zero. So between here, I have, remember this, between the, the left terminal and the middle terminal, I have my highest, 9.5, almost 10. And between these two, I have zero. Now, if I rotate this the other direction, Let's see what happens. If I measure over here, I have 9.5. If I measure my left terminal, my middle terminal, I have zero. So you can see that there, the resistance values switched. And what's going on there is there's a wiper blade in there. And as it wipes from one side to the other, the resistance changes. OK, so in a second, I'm going to show you how to set up your DC motor and get it running. But make sure, this is very important, make sure that you do not let your potentiometer get below around 10 ohms. If it gets below 10 ohms, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to risk running too much current through that potentiometer and you could end up ruining it. So make sure you have it set at or above 10 ohms. And be careful as you lower the resistance of your potentiometer. Your potentiometer has the ability to go all the way down uh, very close to zero. And because of that, it can draw too much current. And as too much current runs through that potentiometer, it's going to heat up and it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn up. And, and I'll show you what happened uh, to my potentiometer as I went through this. Okay, so here we have the DC motor set up. We have our battery pack. That feeds into the rails of my breadboard. Uh, we go from the hot over here to... Okay, so here we have our DC motor circuit. We have our battery pack over here that feeds into the rails of my breadboard. My plus six volts approximately goes over here and into my potentiometer. Uh, from there, I have jumper wire going from the potentiometer to my DC motor. Uh, you notice I've gone ahead and created a little hook there. You can do that with some pliers or another tool that you might have. That way I can clip it into my DC motor here. All right. 
So, um, also I have the other part of my DC motor connected to the ground. Now, depending on what you have your resistance set on, you may or not have the motor working at this point. But as you turn this potentiometer, you should be able to get that motor going. And if you listen to it, you can hear it running pretty fast. And as I change that resistance, I can slow the speed, the rotations permitted of my motor. I hope you enjoyed that activity. If you ended up burning up your potentiometer before you got a chance to do it, you can use 10 ohm resistors instead, or you can buy a new potentiometer. I ended up buying a couple more uh, with a lower limit of around 10 ohms, and they work great. Now in this next part of the video, I'm actually going to show you what happened to the potentiometer. I'm going to take it apart. Okay, so we're going to open up this potentiometer and see what's going on here. Uh, already gone ahead and loosened the case. So this potentiometer was giving me some inconsistent values. I um, mean, it was not getting below 2 kilo ohms. It should be a 0 to 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this particular device. Okay, so I was able to get the knob off there pretty clean. Just used to rotate. Let's see what we got here. So here you can see the wiper blade, and it looks like you can see some corrosion there in the light, or some uh, there's some damage there, possibly from uh, too much current. Same thing here, so you can clearly see uh, some burn marks there on the central terminal, which is no doubt drastically increasing the resistance of this potentiometer, which is why it is no longer working for me. But you get a good sense of how it works as this central wiper moves along the track, changes resistance. Let's take a closer look at our potentiometer. So if we had a meter and we were measuring resistance and we measured from this point to this point, we would always measure the max resistance of our pop. Now, if we measure from the central terminal, our resistance measurement is based on where our wiper is. The wiper can be anywhere rotated around 360 degrees of this potentiometer. Now, what does that change? That changes the distance, the path that the current can travel through. As we change the distance, we change the resistance. Now, if we measure from the central terminal and we've rotated the wiper of our potentiometer to the center or the midpoint, what we'd find is we'd measure half of the max value of that potentiometer. So if the max value of the potentiometer is 10 kilo ohms, what we measure from the central terminal to either of our other terminals, we'd find that we'd measure 5 kilo ohms. I hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and feel free to subscribe to our channel.